Hello everybody, YouTuber2 here. Today I have an average of 12 video, which was my PB. Pretty cool that I got it on cam. And I'm going to answer the qu questions that you guys left me in the Q&A series video. And you can also leave your uh, comments for next week's video down below in the comment section. And I will also answer ones that I didn't get to this time. Since I don't have so much time, there are 24 comments. I'll see how many I can answer. I'm going to go a little bit fast. Sorry. Uh, CubeSpark has asked... You can live anywhere you want. Where would you live? Um, probably somewhere in the Florida area, because I like going down to Florida. And yeah, I live near Mich. I live in Michigan, so I like the cold weather, but I kind of wish I could have somewhere warm. So the cuber has asked how long you've been cubing. By the way, nice channel. Thanks that you like my channel. Uh, uh, how long have I been cubing? I've been cubing since about March of last year, so it's almost been a year now. Cube sub one wants to know my mains and PBs two by two through seven by seven. Mains two by two, wit two v one, three by three, fifty five millimeters Anchi, four by four, modded Shangsha V three, five by five, modded Shangsha once I finish it, six by six, uh spring change six by six Shangsha, and seven by seven Shangsha. Uh PBs two by two is point nine six, three by three is nine point six oh, four by four is fifty eight point two eight, five by five is one fifty one. 6x6 six six is 359.75, 7x7 seven seven is 620.09. I did not have those all memorized, I'm reading them off my phone, because I saw that comment, I thought I should have them ready. Josh Davis has asked other hobbies than cubing. I play piano, I've been playing for about 8 years, I'm pretty good. Uh, I also play a little bit of violin, I'm kind of going away from that now, it's not as fun as it used to be. Uh, in the winter, I do snowboarding, I go every Sunday morning. And then, uh, summer, I play basketball, go swimming, there's a swimming pool in my backyard, play tennis, I'm not very good at tennis, but there's a tennis court in my backyard, uh, yeah, pretty much, I just like to be active. Tina Cubes has asked, who is your favorite YouTube cuber? Someone with over a thousand subs. Well, I pretty much like all of them for different reasons, but if I had to pick one, I'd say Cubix because it's pretty fast and he's got nice tutorials. Um, the Cubing Twins has asked, what is your opinion on Cubesmith stickers? Have you ever used them on any of your cubes? Um, I have used them on pretty much every one of my cubes. I still have them on some. They're decent, but they take a long time to process and ship, and I like the shades of ISO Super Bright stickers, so now I just go towards those. Noob Cuber has asked three questions. Can you list all of your PBs? I already have. How long have you, how long ago did you start cubing? Uh, just answered that since March last year. And what is my favorite cube? My favorite cube is the 55 millimeter Diane Zanchi. Mitchell Who has asked, what do you do besides cubing? I have already answered that. I like to be active and stuff. And what are your favorite games on the computer? I do not play games on the computer. I don't play that much games anymore because I'm on a tight schedule with all this homework I've been having lately. Uh, so when I do play games, it's on PlayStation. I play Black Ops 2. Uh, Speed Cube for the win has asked quite a few questions. What do your parents think of you cubing? I guess they support it. I don't know how I really answer that. They don't mind it, I guess. Uh, do you use Old Cell or Random State Scramble for CS Timer for 3x3? I use both. Old style is kind of longer, but it seems like it's scrambled a little bit better, so I usually use that. But every once in a while, I use random state. I don't think it really matters which one you use. He also has asked, how long do you practice, and is it daily? Pretty much 30 minutes. It's daily, depending on how much homework I have. What was the first speed cube you got? It was Diane Guhong version 1 stickerless. He also said, nice idea, cough, copier. Good for you. Pablo to the top has asked me to do a British moo. I'm not sure what that is. Moo. Uh, Pablo to the top has also asked, do you think other people will beat the 3x3 record even though Felix doesn't use a Zanchi? Uh, he still uses a Zanchi. He also uses Guhong version 2 as far as I know. I don't think that there's any more people that could really beat it except for Matt's Valk. But yeah, I don't think it really matters to be honest. The Cubologist22 has asked, do you think the Diane 6 would be better than the Diane Zanchi? Performance-wise, no, I think they'll be about equal, but feeling is pretty much going to make it for me, but I have pre-ordered it. XShamu21X has asked if our bird's fruit. The answer is, of course. 
SAI Cubed has asked how long do I practice, or how do I practice? I sometimes slow solves, but other times I just solve it. There's nothing really special. What's my main 3x3? Could you specify mods and how you lubed it? No mods, 55mm, and she's stickered with ISO stickers. Eh. And I lube it like Crazy Bad Keeper does in this tutorial, nothing really special. Uh, can you draw a picture of a walrus and show it in the video? Next time, when I have more time to make this video, because I know I'm really overdue, I will make that walrus picture for you. Redstone 2K12 has asked, did I learn F2L intuitively? Yes, I did learn F2L intuitively. You should learn F2L intuitive, because that's pretty much the only way you should go. How many cubes do you own, and what is your favorite? Over 20 is the answer, and my favorite is the 55mm Zanshi. Josh Davis has asked another two questions. What was my first cube ever? The first cube ever was a Rubik's brand. Uh, I started cubing in March is the other question. I'm not going to answer how I got into it because I'm short on time. Uh, Laser Zero Monkey has asked, are you getting this Panshi? And how and when did you start your YouTube channel? I am getting the Panshi. I wanted to start my YouTube channel because I thought it would be cool to help people. And I wanted to use some editing skills that I learned in tech class. Uh, 338 cool guy has asked, how did you get into cubing and what is your opinion on knockoffs? I'll explain how I got into cubing later. My opinion on knockoffs is if they're better than the original patent, then I'm going to use them. So that is the question. I actually have a whole nother solve left. So, uh, yeah, the average was really good for me. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click like. Leave your questions for the next video. Let's try and aim for at least eight comments so I know that you guys are still interested. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you can also subscribe to my channel to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.